Hello YouTube, I'm back to do another movie review, uh, about to review Warrior's Way, uh, The Warrior's Way, uh, but anyways, um, I went and saw it and I thought it was very good, uh, Kate Bosworth uh, doing a Bosworth, <laughs> uh, anyways, she was playing a character that obviously was from the south and you can so tell she has a really thick southern accent like she grew up in like a rural part of Georgia all her life but she did very well I mean uh, you know I thought you know the movie I didn't know really what to take from it I mean uh, I mean when I was going to see it I, mean, I saw the trailer I forgot what fucking movie I went to saw and then I went to see uh, uh, you know, saw 3D, and I saw it again, and I was just like, okay, maybe I'll get this, um, this movie to go, but, uh, Donggun Jang, the main hero who plays, uh, Yang, <laughs> which is, is just kind of funny, because his last name actually rhymes with the, his character's name, Jang Yang, and, anyways, um, so, yeah, um, what? Oh, what was I saying? All right. Um, I never seen any of his movies. I was just, you know, going to see it for see what the movie was for. I mean, uh, the only people that I even knew that was in the movie was Kate Bosworth and Jeffrey Rush. Um, but then I found out Danny Hudson was in it, and I was like, that name just sounded familiar. I forgot who he was. And I remember he was in um, that movie, uh, Thirty Days a Night. He played, uh, I forgot who he, he was in, um, he was in, uh, uh, Edge of Darkness, and, um, he was in, uh, X-Men, um, you know, uh, Origin, X-Men Origins, uh, Wolverine, he played, uh, Wesker, I mean, uh, not Wesker, damn it, I'm getting them mixed up, Striker, he played Striker. And, uh, so those are the only three people I knew in there. And then, Ronnie, I mean, uh, there was, there was one little dude that showed up. Yeah, I did not, uh, expect. It's, uh, Tony Cox. If anybody, uh, doesn't remember Tony Cox. Um, he was, he, he, he's kind of hard to miss. He's a midget, but he was in, um, he was in Friday. And the last movie I really remember him being was, uh, Bad Santa. He was a little elf dude. <laughs> um, <laughs> when uh, Billy Bob Thornton was playing the uh, the mall Santa, oh, uh, it was hilarious. Um, but I thought the movie was very well, was real well written and well shot. Um, it cut between uh, reality, fantasy, and, in my opinion, like graphic novel, comic book style. Uh, what I mean by that is, you know, we all know what you can do without the help of, you know, wires. I mean, if you're just like professionally trained, and then what you can do when you have those wires and then, you know, CGI and all like that. Um, and then when I was talking about um, the graphic novel and uh, comic book style, what I meant by that was, um, well, anybody who's ever seen, like, uh, Sin City or, um, or The Spirit, that's what I kind of mean, how, you know, he was slashing everybody up, the way that the blood sprayed, the way that the bodies, you know, went flying, uh, just the whole style of it. The whole visual style of it was great. It was a nice blend of it. Only thing that I kind of was just going eh about this eh, was there was a lot of times where they used uh, slow motion. Now, I mean, slow motion is great when needed, but I mean, it kind I kind of thought that they kind of overused it just a little. It was just some parts you're just sitting there like, why is this part in slow motion? It was just, it, it would have been a lot better if it was just in regular motion, regular speed. 
But, you know, hey, not the director, not the director of photography or anything. I'm not in the production team, so I can't have no say. But, um, I think when I get it on DVD or Blu-ray, when it gets to that part, I'm just going to hit fast forward 1.5 on my PS3 and then <laughs> watch it in normal view, normal, uh, uh, speed and, yeah. And, um... Of course, the music will go a lot faster. The music was great, by the way. A lot of times, I was sitting there, I thought the beat was actually in the music, and it wasn't. The beat was actually coming from, like, a gun shooting. I was like, what the hell? That was great. Now, I mean, if they come up uh, in a soundtrack, if the beat is not in that song, because, the you know, the gun was, you know, not particular. what... Well, I guess not a part of the song. I'm gonna hate that because that was great. Because you're sitting there and you just like nice beat, and then you you find out it's the actual gun or whatever, and making the actual beat to the song. And I thought that was just great. But overall, the movie was good. Uh, a lot of good action. Um, I kind of wish it was rated R though. I mean, if I look at it, you would have thought it was. It is, and everything, and, yeah, so, because I was like, oh, man, it could have just dropped a lot of F-bombs, I mean, they said shit a few times, but not, not a whole lot, um, it would have been a lot better if they just dropped F-bombs, F-bombs, just here, 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 anyways, um, I... I recommend going to see this movie if you like, you know, good samurai uh, sword fighting. Um, if you like sp spaghetti westerns, um, I say, you know, see this movie too. Uh, anything else? There's some comedy in it. Um, not a whole lot, but there's some comedy in it. Um, the only and and the only thing that made this movie um, almost unbearable, was up to the left of me, there was two ladies talking in Spanish, and I don't know if they was trying to, uh, whisper or not, but I could hear everything they were saying, and I was just sitting there like, I'm trying to be nice and not say nothing, I'm just like, okay, and then I hear her iPhone goes off, you know, the little sound it makes when... You know, it gets like an email. I mean, not an email, a text. Or it could be the same sound. And it went off like so many times in that movie. I'm looking at her like, will you turn it off? Or something, you know. She looking at me like I'm crazy. She's pissed off at me. I'm what the fuck? You're the one interrupting my, you know, movie experience. At the end of the movie, well, close to the end of the movie, they end up getting up and leave because they thought the movie was over. Stupid bitches. <laughs> um, and they, they ended up being 10 more minutes of a sh of the movie. And I heard it in silence. I was like, I'm happy they were gone because I didn't have to hear them or hear the phone. I mean, they should have known something when they left and nobody else followed. <laughs> You know, nobody left the theater for another 10 minutes unless, you know, people were sitting around to, you know, like, watch the, uh, the, um, uh, credits. There's a, uh, a lot of people like to stay at the end of the credits to see if there's something there. Oh, wow. But, uh, good movie, good sword fighting, good acting, good soundtrack, um, good visual effects, uh, good stunts, um... Uh, good story. Uh, everything was just good. Um, I would say go see it. See it twice. Hell, I don't know. See it all weekend if you want. Um, it is like almost two hours long, so you will be sitting there. You know, there's some slow points, there's some fast points. Fast, fast, fast. Yeah. So you know, just watch it and uh, enjoy it. All right. Talk to you guys later.